I'm the bunny lady, and my partner Elusive is a little mad at me right now, so she is hanging out over there, so maybe she'll forgive me by the end of the video. Today we're going to talk about aggressive rabbits, or when rabbits bite. <laughs> now for the most part, rabbits are actually very gentle animals. They're not going to be quick to attack anyone, really. There are going, there are basically three main reasons that you might be bitten by a rabbit. One is they're scared. Uh, most of the time when rabbits are scared, they will run away and hide, but if they feel cornered, then they might uh, be quicker to lash out or um, to swipe at you or to bite. If you are someone who, like, every time you go to interact with your rabbit, you want to pick them up, they may have learned that swiping at, like, swiping at you or trying to lunge and bite you has gotten you to go away and not pick them up. So uh, they may have been conditioned to be more aggressive towards people because of that fear related. Um, yeah, because of the fear that uh, they'll be picked up because most rabbits are kind of afraid of being picked up. And if they don't have their feet on the ground, then they can't run away. And a rabbit's life depends on their ability to run away and hide as fast as they can. So it's understandable that a lot of them are kind of scared of being picked up. And the second reason that a rabbit might lash out about you is um, they're territorial. Rabbits in general are actually very territorial animals. Uh, so they will try to protect their own space. And this is actually more of a problem with female rabbits most of the time than male rabbits. Uh, but they will get aggressive if they feel like you are encroaching on their territory. The third main reason why a rabbit might bite you is uh, if they do an accident. Um, for example, if they get really super excited about their food, they might end up biting you to get to the food. It's not an aggressive behavior, but it is, you know, unfortunate and there will, you will need to teach a rabbit <laughs> to not do that. Now I do want to point out before I get into some of the details that there is a difference between a rabbit biting and a rabbit nipping. A rabbit bite is when they actually like go for you um, and they, they get you hard and it's a, basically a wound that's bleeding because um, they have not sharp teeth but strong jaws that can make um, pierce, they, they can pierce the skin. Um, n normally it ends up not being actually a big deal, it's just it'll heal pretty quickly because it's usually a very clean wound and for humans at least it's generally just a deep cut. Unless they happen to get you in a vital spot which is unlikely because it'll almost definitely be, it, it's usually on the, like, your hand or your arm or your leg. But nipping is when a rabbit, you know, they'll give you a light nip, kind of like a pinch, not really a bite. And that is not aggressive behavior. Sometimes a rabbit will do that because they're a little annoyed, like <laughs> they'll come up beside you and give you a little bit of a nip to try to get you to move aside so that they can get behind you. Um, or, you know, they just, um, they could, um, if you're petting them and they're like, okay, stop, stop, they might give you a little nip to, to tell you to stop. Um, the other time that they might nip you is when they're grooming you. Uh, if you have a rabbit that likes to, lip, to lick you or lick your clothing, um, they'll, they might end up nipping you, especially if they get to a seam in the clothing, um, as a way to, they're trying to get the mats out of your fur, basically, because rabbits will groom each other. And, you know, sometimes that includes using their teeth a little bit to help get, to help get, like, fur unstuck and stuff, so, um, they, they might think that you're helping, they're helping you out in that case, so, <laughs> so, sadly, you know, it's a, it's a cute behavior, but it's also not, uh, desirable behavior. So what you want to do, if your rabbit is just nipping you and not actually biting you, what you want to do is, um, just let them know that what they're doing is hurting you. Because th in this case, they're not trying to hurt you, they're just trying to communicate with you or, you know, help you out if they're grooming you. So in this case, um, just give a loud, ow, uh, to let them know that what they're doing is hurting you and uh, you, they should stop. Now, if they're actually biting you, they're actually trying to hurt you. So giving the, ow, 
isn't really going to help very much because, you know, that's just what they're trying to do. <laughs> and now they, they get more of a confirmation. So if your rabbit, if you're dealing with an actual aggressive rabbit or a rabbit that's over enthusiastic about food and actually bites you trying to get to the food, <laughs> impatient rabbit, uh, then uh, there are some other, some other steps that you need to take to try and help out your rabbit or to try and teach your rabbit <laughs> better behavior. So the number one thing you can do is get your rabbit fixed um, to get them spayed or neutered. <laughs> Aggressive rabbit behavior is often related to their hormones. The, the territorial behavior, especially, uh, is based on uh, their instinct to protect their warren, protect their babies um, with female rabbits, and they can get pretty aggressive about protecting their space. Most of the time, this aggressive behavior is directed towards other rabbits and not um, towards people or even other animals. But sometimes you will get a particularly territorial rabbit, or if they're just reaching maturity, you can get them spayed and neutered to help with a lot of the behavioral problems. Now as a note, once you bring them home from their surgery, they're not going to be all of a sudden better. It's going to take about a month, maybe a little bit longer, for their hormones to calm down and then for them to be a and then for them to be a calm, relaxed, gentle rabbit again. It's not going to be an overnight overnight fix. It's just going to it's going to take a little bit of time. So just be patient with your rabbit in that case. Another thing you can do to uh, work with your rabbit to help them learn to not bite you, if um if your rabbit is biting you because of a fear related response, it's important to work with your rabbit and help them learn to trust you, so that they're not afraid of you anymore and then they won't bite you anymore. So what you would have to do in this case is, one, don't pick up your rabbit for a long time. Since rabbits are generally scared of being picked up, you, you just want to avoid doing that unless you have to, especially if you're just teaching your rabbit to trust you. So what you can do instead is interact with your rabbit on their level. So sit on the floor and let them come to you, like have a, have a little bag of treats with you and let them come to you and get a treat. Uh, and then don't pick them up. In fact, at first, don't even pet them. Wait till they'll trust you a little bit. Um, you should wear long, long, thick pants, so long sleeves, and you know, gloves. And if your rabbit is particularly aggressive, um, to help protect yourself. Like you don't, you don't want to put yourself in danger. But you also want to give your rabbit a chance to trust you. So, do what you can with your clothing. Uh, wear boots and thick clothing to, so that you can sit with your rabbit and you can interact with them without fear of them attacking you. This can also be helpful because then if they lunge for you, you can basically just not move and let them lunge at you and know that you won't be hurt. And then they can also learn that their behavior will not make you go away anymore. It's not gonna work anymore. So they need to either figure something else out or um, you know learn to trust you. And if you are patient with your rabbit, just sit with them. Um, it will help them eventually learn to trust you. He still hates me. Okay, if your rabbit is biting you because they're getting really impatient about their food, um, what you can do is wear gloves when you're giving them their food. That'll be helpful. And put it down as quick as possible. Um, so what you want to do, you know, whether it's their, whether it's their food bowl that you're putting food in and you're putting it down for them or their hay, um, just put it in there, put it down as quickly as possible. Wear gloves to protect your hands in the meantime, but and but just um, make it so that they don't have to wait, so that they know, so that they can learn. You want to give your rabbit a chance to learn that they will get their food right away. Now another thing you can do is wait until your rabbit is out of their cage, out of their area before you give them food. That way there's not really much worry about them. Um, <laughs> there's not really that much worry about them biting your food because they're not there right now. Uh, most of the time this is uh, young rabbits that do this because they just, they just get super excited and impatient. Um, 
and it can help to let them know that they hurt you uh, to give a, a little yelp <laughs> so that they know that their actions hurt you but most of the time they just want to get that to the food as fast as they can so you know just put it down remove your hand and wear gloves at first if you're worried about your rabbit biting you um, if it's they bite your hand while you're trying to give them treats what you can do is use a spoon um, and give them put the put the treat on the spoon and when they get a treat they get to take it from the spoon this will help them practice their aim a little bit because sometimes rabbits actually bite you because they're really enthusiastic about getting the food and then um, and then their aims a little bit off and then they get your finger instead oops so get uh, the spoon will help them not get your finger and practice their aim Ellie have you forgiven me? Hee <laughs> hee. I love you. I love you. You also want to make sure that you're not acting afraid of your rabbit, because that's something that will, you know, egg them on a little bit. They'll be like, oh, what I'm doing is working. It's making her go away. So if you hold, stand your ground and just, you know, hang out with your rabbit, don't try to interact with them, but also don't go away when they attack you or lunge at you, and then they'll learn that their behavior isn't working. And over time, as they start learning to trust you, they'll learn that it's, it doesn't matter anyways. It's their behavior isn't working and you know, there's no need for it anymore, which is, those are the main things that you want to teach a rabbit when they're scared of you and lash out because they're scared of you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll click if you're interested in more videos about how to care for your rabbit and I might <laughs> include how to train your rabbit in a couple videos coming up. Um, click on the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. I'll put a new video out every week. And thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out my blog, it is bunnylady.com and it's got a lot more information about um, how to care for rabbit. I have one, I have a post specifically about aggressive rabbits with a lot more information about specific issues you might be having with your rabbit and how to fix that. Fix those issues and work with your rabbit to fix their behavior. So uh, check that out. I will put a, dis a link in the description below. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Uh, see you next time.